one, class 2A, 106 pounds, about 113, Tanner Watson of Akron, and Marcos Fernandez of Las Animas. Over there still cleaning up that mat. Now wrestling. Rob, you might, uh, this is John here, you might want to turn down the PA, which we can hear clearly. Oh, sorry about that. Okay. There you go. Now you're ready to go. Makes you feel like you're right here. Okay, we're underway. Uh, Beltran in a silver singlet over there. In on a single leg, Colby Duncan's in on a single. Oh, nice little ankle pick by Colby Duncan. And Watson's about to get underway. Duncan's got the takedown. Beltran's still working for one. So we're getting starting wild and woolly here, Jason. Yep, we're watching four mats all of a sudden. Mat number one features Tanner Watson of Akron taking on Marcos Fernandez from Los Animas, a senior at 22 and six. Beltran and Duncan are both up by two points and should be some back points going Colby Duncan's way. He's got an arm bar locked up, just picking up back points. Now he's gonna roll his opponent out of bounds and pick up that three near fall points. Duncan will be up five to nothing. Tanner Watson is up in his First period of this quarterfinals, two to one. He got a takedown, and then his opponent from Los Animas, Fernandez, got an escape. Both wrestlers are on their feet. Duncan's got 45 seconds left. He's going to give up an escape. Got to make it five to one. Beltran, Sterling working from the top of the two to zero lead, two to nothing lead over Herrera from Faith Christian. And Tanner Watson in his match got another takedown, put his opponent right to his back, and pinned him in one minute and six seconds. So Tanner Watson, or yeah, Tanner Watson moves on to the semifinals tonight. His opponent will either be Zach McCrary from Calhan or Eric Rojo from Holyoke. Colby Duncan going five to one as uh, first period ends. As we get choices here. And it looks like uh, Cisneros Jefferson wants the top position. Colby in the orange singlet on the black and orange mat, number 10. Beltran still up. Two to nothing is his first period just ends. There's an escape by uh, Duncan. He'll go up six to one. Our next match on the two A side that we'll be watching is Reed Paulser from Akron, a senior with a 33 and five record. Oh, a little. On, so sorry. Excuse me. Taking on Jaden Valdez Barella from Swink, and he's on deck on mat number five. Colby Duncan just had a nice little wizard throw, but. Officials said they were out of bounds. Put his opponent right to his back. But, uh, Beltran working off the bottom here in the second period. Faces his opponent, gets out the side. He's, looks like he's kind of got a cross face in there, and he's going to get the uh, reversal. And look at four to nothing. Beltran trying to get an arm bar in here on the left side. Senior for the Sterling, Sterling Tigers. Colby Duncan now up six to one. About halfway through the mat, he missed a shot at a single leg. Gets driven out of bounds, they'll restart. We'll have Marcelino B Baptista up shortly at 132 for Marino here on the championship side. Have a wait for Matt Ewerts of Wiggins. He'll be wrestling at 195 here in the championship quarter quarterfinals. And Mackie Sandoval will be up. There's another takedown. Colby Duncan goes up eight to one. 34 seconds and counting here in the second period. Beltran working from the top. Still up four to nothing. That one's down to 50 seconds left second period. And Duncan up eight to two as they're going on their feet. Now. Duncan in on a single leg. Down on his knees, short time here in the uh, second period. He's trying to pop out the back side. We're gonna run out of time. 
Duncan will take an 8-2 lead over Cisneros from Jefferson. Beltran's locking up a guillotine, picking up some back points on Herrera. 15 seconds left in the second period of that match, but he's got him stretched out pretty tight. There's, now he switches off to a headlock, going for the pin. There it is, I think. Yeah, they're showing three seconds on the clock, so give him a 357 pin. 